so today I'm going to review the uh, this thing about black guitars. They always disappear when you put them against a dark background. Is the KH3 LTD, which is uh, basically, and before I review it, I want to give a shout out to its its uh, inspirational focus. Let's see. Ah. So when you look at the KH3, it really is a special, which is invented by Gibson. It's a, it's the, it's a Gibson Les Paul, but Kirk, I guess, had one made. And the, uh, sorry, I have to put this away. So Kirk had one made, and it's one of his iconic guitars from the Black Album. And this is the 30th anniversary release of it. So some uh, pros about this guitar. Obviously, it looks really cool. The uh, the skull spider, and that's actually in the finish, so you know it's not a sticker. Um, and then you've got the spider inlays, but then at the twelfth fret, it turns into his typical skull and crossbones, which you don't really see unless you really get this guitar up close. And it has his actual signature on the headstock. Now, probably my only con about this guitar. Is the headstock itself it's neat it's flashy but if you hang this on the wall make sure you secure the strap to the hook itself because it's a tiny it's a tiny thing it can slip through the hook on on the wall so just be careful with that but it is a player it's a great player it's a great guitar it has the ESP uh, the EMG bone breakers in it and the other thing perhaps one of the nicest things I like about the LTD that they did right was they did a neck through on it it's not a set neck, it's a neck through neck. So you get a lot of sustain. And then it's a very, very slim taper neck. And then on the back also, there's that cool little ESP Spider logo. So really neat player. Um, my favorite thing, and the reason why I was attracted to it was A, it's a Kirk Hammett signature. B, it's a neck through. And then C, it's a Floyd Rose. I had been looking for a, uh, a Les Paul style guitar with a Floyd Rose on it and I've been waiting on Epiphone to make one or somebody to put one out so I could get one and they released this first and Guitar Center offered me a deal on it I couldn't refuse so but how does it sound it's a pretty awesome player <laughs> Now that's me fumbling through attempting to shred here, but it's a pretty great guitar. Um, it definitely has a Metallica signature sound to it, so if you want to play Metallica, you can. <laughs> players goes it's great the uh the only thing i wish it had maybe different was it has three knobs one uh you know two volume one tone i always like to have the two tone knobs so that i can set the neck pickup slightly different than the bridge pickup because i always like to get a more bluesier sound out of it so you know but uh how does kirk hammett solo sound on his own guitar well we'll see let's see if i don't mess this up though so it has a lot 
lot of sustain, and I attribute that to the uh, the neck through. Um, but on the whole, it's a great guitar. It's definitely worth the uh, 1200 bucks that you'll pay for it. And it's a flashy guitar. If you're into Kirk Hammett or you're into Metallica and you love their signature guitars, this one will not disappoint. It's been really well made, and it's a really kick-ass guitar. So, um, you know, I have a, a quite a few guitars. I play mostly Gibsons and, and Epiphones. But every once in a while, ESP, LTD will release something that I want to put my hands on. Uh, I missed the boat on the 500 made um, Red Sparkle Weejas he did. I wish I would have gotten one, uh, but I missed the boat on that. But I did get the Purple Sparkle, and how this stacks up to the Purple Sparkle, I think this edges it out a little bit. Other than the killer-ass paint job on the Purple Sparkle, this one is just an all-around great player. And it, it'll, you know, you can hit the whammy bar for days and it'll stay in tune. So it's a pretty awesome guitar. If you're looking to buy one, if you're an LTD player, this is one you don't want to miss. Thank you.